often when I'm camping and uh, sun, the sunset's coming early, I don't have time to get firewood together or the woods is really wet, I'll go and buy a bag of these uh, Stewart's firewood. I know there's a lot of local vendors for firewood, but often when it's getting dark, you don't want to go looking around for them at times. The uh, quality of the wood varies how, how well seasoned it is. The uh, Sturt's firewood is 8 bucks, which is more expensive than a lot of the firewood, but it is a good sized bag and it's uh, heat, heat treated so there's no pests in it. In New York State, they don't allow you to move firewood more than 50 miles, and if you don't have proof that you didn't move it less than 50 dollars. 50 miles, you might get a ticket, especially at some of the campgrounds. I mean, the places I camp in the backcountry, chances of being stopped by a DC forest ranger or a conservation officer are almost zero. But you never know. And you, you know, you don't want to move around pests like the emerald ash borer or the pine beetle. So this is a convenient alternative. You know it's been dried. You know it's uh, pest-free. You can move it anywhere you want because it is the, been treated. And it's also legal to bring across state lines, so if I'm going out to Vermont or Pennsylvania or somewhere else, I can buy a bag of this wood and just throw it in the truck and use it whenever I need it. I always try to get locally sourced wood from around the woods, but sometimes it's getting dark or if it's not a good place, yeah, I don't use this good wood like that.